Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Bazi Cristo, hermanos. Welcome to our uh, Wednesday Bible study. Bienvenidos a, a nuestro estudio. Uh, en este miércoles, como, como siempre, gracias a Dios, tenemos uh, esta plataforma. Si puedes tener estas enseñanzas aquí en nuestras casas, ¿verdad? Escuchando la palabra de Dios juntos. Con nuestros hermanos. We're, we're just so grateful that we have this platform. I know we say that often, but it is a wonderful tool that we could, we could get together and uh, hear the word of God and have these discussions and, um, you know, Lord willing, just be, you know, going deeper into um, his word and, and understanding. Esperamos es un, un tiempo profundo, ¿verdad? En su palabra and en, para atender su, su palabra más. So si puedes servirlo con todos nuestros corazones, ¿verdad? Right? If we have the truth, if we know the truth, uh, we could um, subscribe, right, to the to the Lord and, and to, to all his, his goodness and, and his grace. And so praise, praise God for that. Um, I'm really excited because we have a, a full house today of uh, uh, teachers, or I want to start calling you uh, commentaries, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, or yeah, commentators, commentators. That's it, commentators of 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 the word. Um, so I'm contento porque tenemos tenemos la casa llena de maestros. Uh, soy muy contento. Tenemos nuestro hermano John Raimundo. Es mi mi papá espiritual. El um el el lo, lo instrumento que Dios ha usado. Él es su esposa. Para, uh, para ayudarme, para entender Dios en su grandeza. And so we're, we're just excited to, to have uh, Brother John Ramundo, um, he's uh, my spiritual father, and uh, was really the vessel to win me to the Lord so long ago, him and uh, uh, his, his wife, um, Gloria. And so it's just such a, such a blessing to, to, have, to have you, sir. Um, but um, at this time, I'd, I'd like to invite the, 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 the teachers to just give a greeting. Brother John uh, Ramundo, maybe you'd like to start off since I've kind of given you an introduction and, uh, and uh, you know, greet, greet the brethren. Paz a Cristo a todos. Praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, good to be here. Excited to be here. Me alegra que... Uh, estoy con, con ustedes y, uh, y tengo um, uh, <laughs> excitement. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, brother. We all, uh, we all work it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so, um, uh, you know, I've, I've been able to um, listen and, and watch uh, one of the sessions was blessed by it. And, and so I um, think as your pastor says, this is a great platform. We thank God uh, for him uh, and his creativity to use it. And we thank God for being here. We thank God for everybody who's here with us and uh, God bless you everybody. Amen, it's nice to have you brother. Praise the Lord, everybody. Paz de Cristo a todos. Gracias a Dios por este día, por este tiempo. I'm just very thankful for this day and this time and just looking forward to us getting into the word and just getting deeper and growing deeper with God. Amen. Amen. Paz de Cristo, hermanos. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the <laughs> Lord. It's so great to be on this platform once again to be able to share the word of God. I'm you know, joyful to have Brother John uh, here with us, uh, you know, to share the word and, uh, you know, to see what God has uh, put in his heart. And mm -hmm. uh, estoy uh, contento y alegre de estar aquí una vez más en esta plataforma, hermanos. Contento de tener a nuestro hermano uh, John Raimundo aquí con nosotros y ver qué es lo que Dios ha puesto en su corazón, ¿verdad? Eh, y como siempre, hermanos, este, pongan sus comentarios aquí en el... Uh, en el uh, en la lista de los, los comentarios, uh, preguntas que tengan, hermanos, y uh, uh, algunos de nosotros estaremos aquí uh, observando los comentarios y preguntas. Uh, don't forget to comment and share your questions. You know, we'll be monitoring that as, as, a, as a, a word is, is being uh, 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 taught. 
today and uh, we'll be uh, glad to and try to get to your answers, uh, get you answers for those questions. Um, I, I, I pray that you all that are found in, in great health and, and in the blessings of the Lord in Jesus name. Espero y hoy le pido a Dios de que cada uno de ustedes estén con bien de salud y en grande bendición de parte del Señor en el nombre de Jesús. Dios les bendiga, hermanos. God bless. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, friends, uh, brothers, sisters, uh, visitors, and and uh, welcome, Brother uh, Minister John uh, Raimundo, that uh, you have uh, come and, and uh, partake with us. Thank you. Um, we appreciate your time. We appreciate the time of everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. When you make time for God, you won't regret it because he honors it. And it's just like when you give your mother or your father a phone call, you thought of them and, uh, and they really appreciate it. And, and he's always watching out for us. So mm -hmm. there's not much more I think he can do, but if you have a petition or request, as I always say, bring it to him tonight. And uh, he is faithful. Um, he's in, in. He's a, a father, and he always wants to help his children. So believe, ask, and you shall receive. Pase Cristo, hermanos, amigos. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Uh, tenemos, uh, estamos contentos que nuestro uh, uh, ministro, hermano uh, uh, John Raimundo, está con nosotros. Bienvenido, hermano. Y a todos los demás, gracias por, uh, por darnos de su tiempo. Uh, como dije en inglés, es como cuando uno llama a su papá o su mamá, mm -hmm. uh, es, uh, se ponen alegre porque hemos pensado en ellos y les he, hemos tomado el tiempo para visitar con ellos. Y eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Uh, vamos a disfrutar de la palabra de Dios. Uh, so, si tiene una petición, uh, una súplica, pida, creyendo, pida, y Dios es fiel. Uh, Dios les bendiga. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It is a pleasure and honor to have all, all of you as, as always on the regular. It's a gran placer para tener todos uh, ustedes, hermanos, uh, aquí, los maestros, y también ellos que están escuchando y mirando ahí esto en Facebook. So we're, we're grateful for that. We, um, uh, just, just a couple of announcements just before we get in into um, the, the lesson. Uh, I just wanted to, to note that next Wednesday, we will not be having a Bible study. It's um, the week, or not next week. Yeah, next, wait, is it next week? Yeah, it's next week. <laughs> Ooh, I got confused. Yeah, next next week, we won't be having a study due to um, the convention. In the semana que estamos entrando, en el miércoles en agosto, el primero miércoles en agosto, no tenemos nuestro estudio. Uh, porque es la semana de la convención allí en Union City. So, um, hermanos, por favor, va, va la, la convención. If no puedes ir los dos días, viene a viernes. Viernes a las seis, porque eso es la, la culto de, de um, ordenación. Y tenemos nuestros dos jóvenes aquí, que están, um, hermano Daniel es como un diácono. Y hermano Alberto como un ministro. So, viene porque nosotros somos una familia. Y es un, yo pienso es una gran cosa para ellos, para tener su iglesia. Y um, so eso es viernes a las seis. En las siete y media hay otro culto. Y en sábado también. Todos los días tienes actividades, pero necesitas trabajar. Eso es la foque en la, la noche. Um, in uh, next 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 week, we won't be having our Wednesday study due because it's convention week. And I'd, I'd like to invite you to come on out to convention. And um, it's there just there at Union City. Um, on Friday at six o'clock is the ordination service where Daniel and uh, will be set aside, and Alberto will be uh, ministerized. And um, and uh, it'll just be a blessing to have the congregation there with them at, if you can come. Of course, activities are all day Friday, all day Saturday. But the, the evening services do start at 6 uh, that, and at 7.30 on Friday, a regular service, and then on, um, on Saturday uh, evening as, as well. So come on, come on out to, to the convention and, and see these gentlemen. Also, we have our juniors that are going to junior camp this week. Let's keep them in prayer. We have, a, um, of course, a one, one of our sisters is going as a counselor, but 
I know some of the ladies are going up to drive up there and, and stuff like that. So we just want to keep keep the juniors and them in prayer that 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 are traveling up. And also just to, again, just a reminder, uh, nuestro juniors tiene su campamento en esto esto fin de semana. So oramos por ellos y también los adultos que están allá con sus coches, sus ride allí allí por por ellos. So oramos por ellos que todo sale bien. Um, y, and also this Sunday, I will not be in church, as, as I've already mentioned to y'all, I'll be going to Virginia to be joining my son Ishmael in his youth camp. And so uh, it's a great honor because I've been trying to be a part of his camp for all these years. And so, but I'm leaving the, um, it in, in capable hands, Brother John Alaga, which will bring fire from heaven on Sunday and uh, you will re bask in the glory of God. And so I'm looking forward to hearing all the goodness about that. Y también uh, um, este domingo yo no estoy ahí en la iglesia porque estoy allá en Virginia con mi hijo Ishmael en su campamento de jóvenes. Uh, um, él es el director y, y to, todos estos años quiere ir con él. And so tengo la oportunidad en estos tiempos so no estoy ahí, pero la iglesia está encargado con el hermano Alague y están en buen, buen manos con, con él. So um, that is a lot of announcements, but why don't we go ahead and get into um, the, the word. Let's open with a prayer. Hermano Lupe de México está uh, uh, buscando una oración por ella en su familia. También estamos orando por los juniors. Hermano Lupe in Mexico would like prayer for her family. And also, um, let's keep the juniors in prayer as well. And unfortunately, no one else is coming to my mind, so we could just pray for the church and um, that God just continues to move and, and to, to speak. A amen. So I'm going to ask Brother Daniel. Daniel, why don't you lead us in prayer, brother, and, and that the lesson goes well in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you first and foremost, ever grateful and thankful for this time together, not just amongst our brethren, not just the ones that we get to interact with in the chat, but just being able to just dive into your word with men that you have bestowed wisdom upon, with other men that you are going to speak through and pour through, God, that you're going to just nourish our relationship and knowledge of you that much more, God, strengthening all of us again, just iron sharpening iron, God, we thank you for that. Lord, you know the needs that are going on in the church, all the brethren and sisters that are are dealing with whatever it might be whether it's ailments whether it's just a breakthrough that is needed whether it's mourning whether it's the situation that we can't even fathom right now God but you are a God of miracles you are a God of the impossible because you turn everything into possible God the God of when I like to say so Lord we just lift up every need to you whether it's breakthrough whether it's healing whether it's redemption whether it's just reminding them that they are your child and that you are they are loved we just lift it up in the name of jesus that you are moving that you are stirring we lift up the teacher that is guiding the lesson today that he speak the word that you put upon his heart we just ask that you speak through all of us god so that way we can just make sure it is your word and not our own words that are pouring out lord god we love you and praise you in jesus name amen hallelujah amen. yeah thank you thank you so much for that so all, all month long, of course, we've been talking about 1 Corinthians 10, and we, we have really experienced a lot, a lot of goodness and a lot of meat, you know, more meat than bone. And, um, and just um, really, really seeing the trajectory of what Paul is saying and really what he's trying to guide the Corinthian church to do, is, which is really to, to understand how, how valued they are, but how powerful they can be in the work that God has done. And they continue to be caught up in um, self-indulgences uh, for, for whatever reason. And um, I appreciate the book of Corinthians because it, it does show the faults of church, you know, and, and here they, they, they were really in it. Um, and as Paul tried to guide them. So todo eso me estamos hablando de, de este capítulo 10 de Corintios. En, en la, lo foque es, es porque los her, hermanos de Corintios era, solo está pensando uh, sus vidas, ¿verdad? Era, es, su, um, su foque no era uh, Cristo porque él estaba viviendo de manera de, de los pecadores. 
y no eran los cambios que los poderes de Dios tenía por ellos. En la, estas cartas, Pablo está diciendo, mira, esto es el camino de Cristo, es mejor de, de la vida de los pecados o la, la, vida, lo, lo, la vida de los, los mundiales, ¿verdad? Uh, better than, than the life of, of, of society. And, and we've, we've really um, spent a lot of time with it. The t teachers of the month have, have really brought great um, perspectives on, on it. And so um, we, we come to, to verse 23, really 23, you know, um, through chapter 11, 11, 1. I know we're in chapter 10, but, but 11, 1 really is part of the, the, the um, flow of what's being said, but um, we, we mentioned it last week. I think I probably mentioned it every week where here in verse 23, he says, uh, Paul says, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but not all things edify. So, um, si mencionó eso versículo 23, solo eso mes con esto dicho de los corintios, y, y Pablo dice eso aquí, que, que sí, claro, todas las cosas son, son ahí en los leyes. So si puedes vivir, porque está ahí en la ley, so si puedes vivir en una un manera que, que, que uno quiere vivir, ¿verdad? Pero, pero dice, pero no todas estas cosas ayuda o son un beneficio por, por los cristianos. They're, Not all these things are, 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 are lawful or, or edify, you know, the, the Christian person. And, and really, if you understand the Corinthian church or even the city of Corinth, which we talked about in the first week and kind of mentioned throughout, anything, anything could go in, in, in Corinth. So that's why they say all things are lawful for me. And if you're familiar with Corinthians, That that's exactly what the church was doing. We, we have just been mentioning chapter 10, where they were going to idol services, where they were partaking in idol worship, where they were eating idol food and, and, and all of these things. But you look at chapter 11 and they're, they're abusing the Lord's Supper. You know, those that didn't have food, they were starving while the other ones were eating steak and lobster in front of them. And that none of that has to do with the Lord's Supper. More so, Someone was in their church, they sinned, they were sleeping with their father's mother, that's creepy, but they're just like, hey, it's okay, you know, the Lord's gonna, so we can see the idea of all things are lawful, and how Corinth really embraced it, and Paul's saying, look it, no, like, no, like, we're not, we're, we're, we're different now, you know, esto, esto dicho, si puedes mirar que los, los, Corintio estaba viviendo, estaba viviendo en esta manera, con esto dicho, uh, porque por ellos, si puedes mirar, sí estaba comiendo uh, la comida de los ídolos, estaba ya en los servicios de los ídolos, estaba, estaba participando en no sé qué. Pero en otro, otro capítulo, ella estaba en, en el capítulo 11, ella está en, los, uh, en la Santa Cena, ella un parte de la iglesia estaba comiendo carne en esto la angustia I don't even know how to say it uh, comiendo eso comida rica ellos que son pobres no tenían comida ellos estaba comiendo en frente de esos que no tenía en todo eso no tiene nada para 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 los los lo, lo, lo Santa Cena en otro lugar está hablando de un un hermano estaba casado o, o durmiendo uh, con, con la esposa de su papá. E, e la iglesia estaba, hey, eso no, no es un problema, es un hermano. No, like, no, Paul saying no, no. So this saying is, is probably like one of our modern ones. Like, what's that one that says, uh, um, when you're in Rome, do what the Romans do, or... Uh, I know Vegas just changed their saying for who knows what, but what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It's kind of the same thing. All things are lawful, meaning let's let's go for it. And it, that's really what we see now here at the end of chapter 10. He keeps on saying it throughout, 
but here he's kind of saying, hey, like, you know, uh, we, we're, we're, we're not, we're not these people anymore. Hey, Corinthian church, we're, we don't, we don't do this anymore. Not because we can't, it's because we don't have to. So Pablo está diciendo, hey, mira, yo, hermanos, nosotros no viven así. Porque nosotros estamos cambiados, cambiados. Claro, el mundo, claro, todo está, está ahí, todo está, all things are lawful, pero no, no, but, but for us, it's, it's, it's not, it, it, it's not us as the church and them as the Corinthians, you know, because Paul in this last portion is saying, look at, it's not about us. It's about Jesus, but then also it's about those that don't know Jesus. And we'll get into that. But gentlemen, I'd like to just hear some of your comments just on that first portion of, of 23. If you have any, of course. <laughs> if not, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep going because I'm I have to intentionally like stop myself. <laughs> well, he 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 goes on in verse 24 and says, let no one seek their own, but each one the other's well-being. Like this is this is like not necessarily a turning point because he's been kind of like showing them, listen, this is what you're doing. This is probably the effect of it, but now he's going, look it. It it it's it's no one seek their own, but the well being of others. You know, and that that is so counter human, right? Because we're taught to be selfish. Well, we're not taught, it just comes natural. You know, we we just look out for for ourselves it's it's it, it's not it's not about us it's not about human selfishness anymore you know paul is really i feel paul's really hammering the point saying it it's not about our appetite any longer though we can satisfy them because it's all lawful it's not about our appetite it's about the kingdom it's about what god has for us in the kingdom the giftings and all that and then how our giftings Right, because he's gonna talk about them later. Yeah, we're in chapter ten. He talks about them in chapter twelve, and then chapter fourteen, and he seals like the Oreo cookie with love in thirteen. So he's gonna talk about it. He's, but he's he's building. It's the gifting is not about us. It's about them. So eso es, Pablo está diciendo, mira, no es no es como que 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 nosotros quieren, verdad? Como, I don't know how to say selfish in Spanish. How do, you, how do you say selfish? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Alberto. Oh, egoísta. Egoísta. Es, no es como nosotros somos natural. Como natural, so, no somos, nosotros somos egoístas. Close enough. Egoístas. ¿Verdad? Pero Pablo dice, no, no es, no es, de, lo, no es que nosotros quiere. Es, es que... ¿Qué quiere Dios? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué quiere Dios? ¿Qué Dios tiene por nosotros en, en su reino? Con nuestros dones, nuestro plan por nuestra vida, los propósitos por nuestra vida. Y también él dice, no, no, solo, no solo Dios, pero el mundo que necesita del amor de Dios, hermanos. Y Pablo dice eso en el versículo uh, 24, que dice, no, no estamos buscando que nosotros quiere. Pero ¿qué, qué beneficios nosotros tenemos por los otros, no solo los hermanos, pero el mundo también. And so it's it's kind of a big deal because Paul Paul is saying it's it, it's not, you know, there's there's more to this. There's more to this than the freedom. We see that later in chapter 11 where the ladies let their hair down and we get all that hair stuff that we, we subscribe to. But a lot of it has to do with like, listen, you have this newfound freedom, but you have to be conscious of others, you know, because Paul says also later that we don't want to do anything that's going to deter, right? That we're going to scare people away from the kingdom of God, more so than being baptized and inducted into this great life and <clears throat> into the into the uh, work, the work of God, that is so so necessary in in the world. So that that's why he's kind of turning the corner here, and saying, look, it, it's really about you know 
all the glory belongs to God, you know, um, instead of me, 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 me. Todo la gloria es Dios, por Dios, hermano. Y Pablo está diciendo de es, esto cosa, esto vida cristiano, no es todo de leyes y, y, y reglas y, y todo eso. No, esto cosa es, es, es grandísimo comparado de, de nuestra vida, de nuestro estómago, ¿verdad? Que quiere comer. Es más grande de eso. En eso es muy importante porque tenemos, estamos viviendo en un tiempo que los hermanos, no de Iglesia Central o Union City, de, que quiere, que quiere los, los cosas por su estómago, que quiere comer, you know, los cosas del, del, del mundo, right? It's not about our appetite. It's not, and there's, and there's a trend in Christianity, not at Central or Union City, but a trend in Christianity that it's all about my stomach, what I want. I want this. I want a basketball league. I want this, that, and my church. No judgment. No, I, that's all cool. But it's a problem, right? Because why? Because now, this is a candy stick. You're all going to have to jump in or I'm going to get out of control. Um, it, the candy stick is, is we, have the, we have the appearance of godliness, and, but deny the power thereof. And for me, you all know, brethren, that the power of God is, everything to me to a church to an individual to a family because without the power but if we're feeding our stomachs or our appetites we we can't experience the full power of god this is you know kind of just my opinion we can't how can we if i'm busy being sinful or if i'm busy just wanting to self-serve then I'm going to miss what my brother needs. I'm going to miss what my sister needs. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. You know, it's, it's muy fácil, hermanos, para solo pensar nuestros estómagos. And, and, y, y, y no que, and cuando yo siempre estoy pensando que yo, que yo quiero eso, yo quiero eso, yo quiero eso. Yo no puedes entender o yo no puedes mirar que, que, que mi hermano necesita, ¿verdad? O, una persona que está, que, que está uh, en sus pecados, está, está you know, perdido. No, es, es su problema, está ahí, en, en, es, es, va al infierno, es su camino. Mi camino está aquí a Starbucks comiendo esto pastry. You know, I mean, that's okay. It's all right, but it's, 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 it's a big deal. And I think that we should, I know we're going to take it serious, but take it serious. You know, because then what? We'll be better servants. We'll be more in tune with Christ. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what his mission is for us in our church, our family, our workplace. Our, our, we'll, we'll be more sensitive because it's, it's not about my comfort. It's about the kingdom. Yeah. Amen. If I, if I may, Pastor, I, oh, please. I, I, I think uh, you, you hit the, the uh, you know, hammer right on the, the head of the nail. Uh, I don't know if I said that phrase right, but, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I think it's very important. I, I you know, I, I believe it's very important and it's, and it's true. You, uh, uh, a lot of the times us, you know, as Christians, we fall into that, I, I guess you could say routine, right? You go to church, you know, you, you, you praise God, you say your hallelujahs. And then while you're, you know, you see your, your brother or your sister, you know, just, shedding their tears at the altar, you know, something's going on in your life and you don't even bother to go over and pray for them. You know, uh, in, in muchas de las veces, uh, hermanos, y creo que el pastor lo dijo muy claro, hay veces que nosotros nos, nos enfocamos mucho en, en ir al, al servicio, ir al culto, uh, y, y vamos y decimos nuestros uh, aleluya, decimos nuestros gloria a Dios, y a veces uh, no nos importa o a veces no le ponemos atención Uh, quizás uh, el, el, el hecho de que nuestro hermano, nuestra hermana esté en el altar derramando lágrimas, quizás algo esté pasando en su vida y ni siquiera nos volvemos a, a orar por ellos o, a, a, o, o siquiera ni siquiera a veces saludarlos, ¿verdad, hermano? Uh, sometimes we don't even go and even, even say hello to them, right? And, you know, praise the Lord. Uh, and I like what Paul says 
en, to the church of, uh, of the Philippians. Uh, me gusta mucho lo que dice Pablo en el, eh, a la iglesia de los filipenses en, uh, en el capítulo 2, uh, verso 4. Uh, bueno, uh, empezando desde el, el capítulo 2, el verso 3 al 4, uh, uh, Philippians, uh, Paul says in the book of Philippians in chapter 2, uh, verse uh, uh, 3, uh, 3 to 4, uh, and it says like this, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conscience, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem, uh, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. Dice aquí en, en, uh, en el libro de Filipenses, capítulo 2, uh, verso 3 y 4, dice, Nada hagáis por contienda o por vanagloria, antes bien con humildad estimando cada uno de los, a los demás como superiores a él mismo, no mirando cada uno por lo suyo propio, sino por cada cual también por lo, lo de los otros, mm. ¿verdad? I, I think Paul says it pretty, pretty clear here. I, I mean, I don't know how much more clear it, it, can, it, can, it can be, mm. right? You know, I, I think Paul is really trying to, to tell the, the Church of Philippians, you know, you know, let, let's not focus. It's not all about you. You know, it's, it's, it's not all about you. It, 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 what, what, a, what does your brother need? You know, what, what is going to be beneficial for not only you, but for your church, for your congregation? You know, no, no solamente es, es todo uh, acerca de ti. ¿Qué, qué, qué beneficio vas a, va a traer a tu iglesia, a tu hermano, a tu hermana? I, and and this, thinking about, it's thinking about your brothers, thinking about your, your sister. You know, it's, it's, it's what, is, what, is the, what is going to bring, you know, a blessing to their life? Yeah. Right. Que, que, que a, a, a su vida. And, and I and I think that's very important. And I think very important and, and it's something that gets e I, I think it gets easily overlooked. And you know, I could say I'm I, I'm guilty of that, right? Yo puedo decir que, que yo, yo, yo soy culpable de eso, ¿verdad? Que muchas veces nos enfocamos en lo que uno más uno está pasando en su vida, pero no, no, nos, no miramos a lo que quizás otro esté pasando también en su vida, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, uh, I'll I'm in. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, I just yeah. want to say um, that uh, we make plans, and it's good to plan. I'm a planner, but yeah, me too. We make plans, and uh, you know, and and we we get all stressed and worried about uh, did we make sure and cover everything, and uh, if we were to leave things up to God, it would go so much easier. Mm -hmm. And he can make the way. He knows. He already knows. He knows uh, what we're going to need. He knows he's going to prepare the way. He's going to prepare the heart. Uh, my great example is, is when my, back in the day when we used to put dramas on at church, my wife used to do a few of them. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, did you call so-and-so? Did, are, are did you make sure so-and-so's uh, child is going to be there because they're going to be in it? And she'd say, don't worry about it. They don't go. They don't go. I'll just grab somebody else and but they didn't rehearse. it doesn't matter don't worry about it <laughs> and everything would always come out great and the thing about this liberty uh we 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 take it the way we want to but i see that the liberty in christ is because we don't have to worry it's it's free from worrying it's free from from planning it's free from preparing it's it's free from from uh, having to stress mm -hmm. and it's free freedom so that we can see the invisible. And so in that way, we are free in Christ because he has everything prepared. He has everything taken care of. Um, yes, again, we can plan, we can prepare you know, ourselves and whatever, but the final plan, the final working it's going to be in God's hands. It's for his honor and his glory. He's going to take care of it. He's going to do it. He's going to bear. Like I tell my wife, oh, I, I hope the, the church is okay with, with uh, what I speak uh, sometimes. And she goes, don't worry about it. He already prepared the hearts. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. so, I mean, it's, he takes care of everything. That's the freedom, not the freedom of like, oh, I can do it my way. I can do it whatever I want. I can do whatever uh -huh. I want, whatever I want. That's not the freedom. The freedom is that, if you leave it to God, everything will be okay. 
So, en veces nosotros, mm -hmm. y es bueno planear, yo planeo todo, yo apunto, yo tengo notas para todo, de a qué hora y qué tanto y, y todo. Pero también eso trae estrés y, y con, con el Señor Jesucristo, si ponemos todo en sus manos, no ya sé qué sea, no tiene que ser nomás un culto o, o algo así, todo en tu vida a Él le importa. Y si lo pones en sus manos, él va a poder abrir el camino, a preparar los corazones. La libertad que tenemos no nomás es de, 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 es lícito, yo puedo hacer, yo puedo escoger, yo puedo ir y venir. Y esa sí es libertad, pero la real libertad es que si ponemos todo en las manos de Dios, uh, él va a hacer los planes, él va a preparar el camino, él uh, nos va a quitar el apuro, el estrés, él va a arreglar todo. Y también vamos a poder ver lo, in, in, lo invisible. Y so, entonces la libertad para nosotros es, es, papi, tú estás encargado, pongo todo en tus manos. Gracias porque tú lo, todo lo puedes. As, as it says, Abba, Father, I put everything in your hands because you are capable. And with you, everything will come out perfect. Amen. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate it. That's good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. Someone else? Well, what, what Paul does is he doesn't... Uh, uh, Paul, did you want to say something, Brother John? Well, I was just going to say thank God for our wives. But, um, <laughs> uh, you know, also, it seems like, you know, because I was, I was thinking too about the liberty uh, mm -hmm. that we have, but uh, it, it takes wisdom to handle the liberty. And, uh, and I think yeah. that's what Paul was trying to hit. You know, when like driving a car on the freeway, we got freedom to speed, uh, mm -hmm. but you know, um, be wise uh, when you yeah. drive. And, you know, in this walk that we have, uh, be wise with our liberty. Know where we're at, who we serve, what kind of ambassador we want to be. Yeah, yeah. no, it, it, it's true, you know. And uh, I, I really like the point that, um, that you made, um, Brother Lage, is that, um, you know, like we, we, we confuse the liberty because, you know, we, I mean, I've, you know, heard and dealt with people i don't mean that necessarily negatively dealt but with people where it you know we live in grace and so we do whatever we want and it's it's just it's just not so even though god is good and he forgives and he uses and that's all that's not my business but but um you know i i want to live in that real that true liberty you know i want i really want to be in a place where it's like god has this you know god controlling this god is doing you know what he needs to do through me and to me and for me and and i, I like that idea of liberty where yeah we could plan that's fine that's 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 wise in itself but you know to be sure that god can still move and work you know in, in that so no that's good that's good. You know, Paul, Paul does spend time with, you know, them eating meat and stuff in the, in the earlier part of the chapter. And now he, he circles back to it in, in verse 25, again, making this point about, um, you know, the well-being of, of others. And he's really clear in, in verse um, 25, where he says, you know, eat whatever is sold in the meat market, asking no questions for conscience sake. I mean, he's literally saying, look at, don't worry about it. If it's, if it's to idols, not to idols, whatever, just, just buy it and, and eat it. And I like verse 26, where, where he says, for the earth is the Lord's and, and all its, its fullness. And he, he's quoting, I mean, this phrase is found in other Psalms, but it's Psalm 24, one, where he's kind of putting, you know, this is just my opinion. You know, he's been kind of saying this the saying of the Corinthians, and now he's saying the saying of the Lord. Like, look at, you know, the, the earth is the Lord's. So whatever's made, whatever it is, eat, eat it. 
you know, eat it. Don't ask questions. Don't don't bother your conscience if it's from idols, not idols. This this that that or the other, you know. But then in verse twenty seven he says, but if any of those who do not believe invite you to dinner and you desire to go eat whatever is set before you're asking no question for conscience sake look at what he's saying like look at if you're going to an idol worshiper's house i think this is a really important point that we could just read right over it if you're going to a non-believer's house and they serve you don't ask them if it's from i just eat it just eat it just pray for he's not saying this just pray for it and eat it why so it doesn't offend it doesn't offend. How many said, I thought you were a Christian, right? I hate that thing. I thought that you were a quick, right? Because we preach and preach and, pre and then we show that we're hypocrites. Oh, I thought you were a Christian. Here's like, just don't, add, just eat it. Just, just eat it. You know why? Because the earth is the Lord's and, and in its fullness, you know? And, and so, it, you know, Pablo está diciendo, mira, if he fue allí en los negocios y compra carne, compra la carne, cómelo. No necesita dice preguntas de esto carne de aquí, eso de, de ídolos. No, porque porque ahí en en el capítulo en el uh, versículo 26 él dice, mira, todo es es de Dios. Todo el mundo es es Dios. Todo es es de él. So, todo es de, de Dios, cómelo. Es un hermano, no un hermano, un persona que no está sirviendo a Dios, invita a su casa, come la comida. No tienes preguntas, ¿dónde estos carnes de ahí, allá, para acá? No, no, cómelo. ¿Por qué? Por, por ellos, por la razón de las personas que están en, esto, en su casa, en estos, en eso es muy importante, porque es como él está diciendo, en, 20, en, en versículo 24, que no es porque que nosotros quieren es para servir otros, you know, and I think that's, I think that's just a, a really important point where we could be holier than thou, right? No, I'm not going to go there, or I'm not going to eat in their house, or I'm not going to get, no, sometimes it's in those settings that we, we shine the brightest, because we're accepting, we're where, um, you know, we don't have to subscribe to how uh, someone lives a sinful life, but it doesn't mean we can't be with them, be kind to them, serve them, you know, love on them, because it, it's the sake of the soul. And, you, you know, because uh, we don't want the gospel to appear um, unaccepting, right? You know, um, and and people are going to always look for that in us. You know, there's negative people that are going to look at that in us to find fault in us. Like, oh, I can't eat that or I can't go there. I can't do this. I mean, this is not necessarily has to do with anything, but you know, no one's going to necessarily turn over in their grave. But everyone, you know, for the most part knows I'm a vegetarian. But on the mission field, on the mission field, I have eaten flesh. Why? Because the men... <laughs> Because the missionaries are serving it to me. I'm not going to say, oh, no, no. I'm... In other countries, they don't understand. Vegetarian, what are you, stupid? What are you, what? Like, what? You, you know, no. Why? Not to offend. Not not to offend. You, you know, and that, that's what Paul's saying. That That's what he's saying. Pablo está diciendo esto. Come. Es Dios. No importa ver un sacrificio de ídolos. No importa. Porque un ídolo es nada, ¿verdad? Es solo, es solo madera. No es nada. Cómelo. You know, and so he, he, he even goes on to say in, in verse 28, he says, but if anyone says to you, this was offered to idols, do, do not eat for the sake of the one who told you, and for, for conscious sake. For what? The earth? He says it again, Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and all its, its fullness. So he's, he then he even goes to the other's part. He goes, if someone tells you it's from idols and you know it's going to affect them, don't eat it. Don't eat it. If they're just trying to trap you, whatever it is, don't eat it. Because you know if it's going to affect them, then then you, 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 don't, you don't want to offend them. 
Verse 29 says, for conscious, I say, not your own, but that of the other. For why is my liberty judged by another man's conscience? Right. He's, at, you know, he's asking the question like, wait, why? Why is my liberty, you know, having to do with someone else's conscience? But verse 30 says, but if I partake with thanks, why am I evil spoken of for the food over which I give thanks? So he he's saying, listen, you, you know, because we could easily say, like, look, at why I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Right. God's my judge. Yeah. You ever heard that? See those tattoos on people? God's my judge. No, it's it's for conscious sake. Why? Because if it's about me, I'm going to do whatever I want. I don't, no, I'm not eating that. Yeah, sure, I'll eat it. It's, but here Paul is saying, look at, we're part of a bigger thing. We're part of a bigger thing. And what's, and what's the big deal if we eat it or we don't eat it? What's the big deal? If a soul's lost, that's a big deal. If we offend a brother, that's a big deal. Like some people don't care. Who cares, man? The hermanos get over it. No, 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 absolutely not. Why would we want to offend our brother? You know, he, he's saying some pretty deep things. I think they are. I, I think they are. Because why? Because he, he is directing Corinth to grow up, to be mature, be mature Christians. Because someone immature in age or mentality or even immature in spirituality, they're not going to get this. It's going to be like, I'm not eating that. It's from an idol. Why are you serving me this? I'll just eat bread and butter, right? That, that's someone that's immature or doesn't understand the, 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 bigger, the bigger picture. Eso, esos versículos, hermanos, mira, porque nosotros estamos hablando que si come, no si come, pero es muy importante porque Pablo no está hablando de comida, hermanos. Está, está hablando de los, de los almas de personas, de salud, de los hermanos, que es muy importante. No es comida, es, 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 es esas cosas que, porque si no se si comen, hay un alma que no quiere servir a Dios. Es, es si come, eres un fen, si ofen, es un, un ofenso, un ofensa, ofenso. Oh, I'm not saying it right. It, it's, it's a fun, it's, no, I'm going to really get all fun. Right? Ofensa. Uh, ofensa, if es un ofensa de un hermano, esto es un problema. ¿Por qué? Porque ahora eso hermano está enfermo. Está enfermo. No es nuestro lugar para decir, eh, no importa qué ellos pensan, ¿verdad? Pero Pablo dice, no, es, es, es más grande. Hay, hay el reino de Dios que es importante. En, 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 hay una misión que Cristo tiene. En todos nosotros tenemos nuestro, nuestro parte. So, you know, we all, we all have our part in this. And, and, I, and I think it's, I think it's critical because we don't want to, and Paul even says it later in the Hebrew, in the, in the author of Hebrews said like, listen, we don't want to keep drinking milk. You know, we don't want to be babies. We don't want to serve the Lord 20 years and be babies, get offended when someone comes in with green hair or, or something in the church. Like we, we don't want to, we don't want to be so easily offended or easily to offend, you know? Because why? Because if, if a brother is hurt or a sister is hurt, well, then the whole body's hurt. Then there's tension in the church. Then this, that, and we know. We've, all of us have been in church for a long time. We know how it goes. This is another candy stick uh, of mine, and I could just keep going on and, and on about it. But I think it's vital. Because I just don't want us to go to church. You don't get us, hermanos, que nosotros solo en la iglesia, todos los domingos. Los cultos están tremendos para mí. I mean, son gloriosos. Pero es, nosotros no solo estamos hablando como nosotros somos gente que va a la iglesia domingos. No, nosotros estamos sirviendo a Dios todos los días. Todos los días. Nosotros somos cristianos todos los días. Maduros. Que quiere cambiar de este mundo. Un persona un, por uno. Un persona por uno. Así, así, hermanos. 
a CN, that, that we're, we, we serve God every day. Why? Because then in our capacity, in our maturity in Christ, and we all mature differently, we all grow in Christ different. In our maturity, what? We change the world, man, one person at a time. One, one person at, 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 a, at a time. I, I, think it's, I, think it's a, I think it's a strong point. <laughs> I do. Somebody help me help a brother out. What I was going to say, Pastor, it was kind of along the lines of that as well. What I really enjoy about the breakdown of these verses is it's being called to basically mature in our walks with God and stand confidently in that adulthood that we enter in like our, you know, as we say, maturing in God, you know, we're becoming grown folk, you know, we're becoming adults of Christ, not just children of God, but, you know, adults of God. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what I really appreciate of that is just, there's the emphasis of like, hey, let's get it together and realize it's now no long, not necessarily no longer about us and our salvation with God, but rather it's understanding that, hey, we have this opportunity to be utilized in a way where we get to have the blessed uh, opportunity to be used like how God used someone else to bring us into the fold. You know, we all, I think, have one time or another might have a story where brother or sister so-and-so was used by God to give me a word or to speak life on my situation or whatever the situation where God utilizes a vessel in order to reunite himself with his child. And God is calling all of us to be used in that way. You know, we've read other verses where we are called lampstands that have that specific position to be placed, not hidden. And these verses talk to us about even being amongst the sinner in the sense and even dining and supping with them, even if that's going to make people look at us a certain way. But it's about reuniting and fellowshipping because we're opening their eyes to see that people who say they are of God and more importantly, reflections of Christ, he's there to be with them as we are. If we're living as, you know, reflections of God, if we're living out the word, if we're living to say, hey, God loves you, we have to allow him to shine through us in show love in the places and in the ways that everyone else isn't going to like because God needs that child to come back to him. Like the book that we read years ago, God never saw a prostitute. God never saw insert drag upon society. He saw a child of God in need of God's love in their life. So I'm not saying that we're going to be, you know, I am saying who knows who we're going to hang out with, who knows who we're going to be in the midst of. But the fact of the matter is God needs to be present in us in those situations. And if he's not, then anyone's perception of us amongst the negative aspects of life will be, you know, pretty much fulfilled. Because if I'm overdoing my own thing and I'm not reflecting God every bit of like the way God wants to shine through me, anyone and everyone can say anything and there'll be some validity behind it. But I'm grateful and confident in the relationship with God that I have that wherever he sends me out, whomever he puts me amongst, he's going to minister and he's going to move. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful that I get to be along for the ride and we get to break down barriers. We get to break down misconceptions of God and we get to be used in such a way, but it all starts with us realizing that it's about everyone else first, that it's about letting ourselves just be the vessel, letting ourselves step aside and letting God come to the forefront, you know, letting him truly be the head of the body and not our own desires. And that's what I love that this is emphasizing to mature to that mindset that it's about God and what his desires are and his children that need to find him just like I was fortunate enough to and allowing ourselves to mature and be confident that God's going to take care of me when he puts me in these situations that everyone else and even myself might feel uncomfortable in. Yeah. Amen. You know, a amen. Um, you know, you know, Christianity is, is what has, was not built for comfort. You know, where we, somewhere along the way, we have felt as a church, I'm thinking very generally at this point, where we get, have become so comfortable, right, that we sit in our perches and judge and throw stones and not accept. And then we come with criteria of who could come and who can't come. And we, then we make ourselves very exclusive. And that it's, it's 
never been about that. It's always been about just people to people, you know, on the ground, you know, with each other. And it, it does take a certain amount of, you know, understanding of the love of God that he has for us, but also the love of God that he has for others that we may not necessarily agree with or, or, or whatever. Um, it's, a, it's, an, it's an important point. And I always say, because if we don't, as a church, and again, this is just kind of a big statement, but if the church doesn't begin to really subscribe to Christ, well, our, our churches are going to continue to empty out. And our churches have, have been emptying out for years. You know, our, our, our apostolic churches, and I could say this because I've been around for a while, are, have been emptying out for years and quicker than we're gaining people. And there's there's a reason, and I don't think it's because we have rules. I, I think that I think it's something much more deeper, of 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 possibly just being non-accepting. But that's just my opinion and my uh, perspective on, on it. And Paul's saying, he's saying, look at these 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 are eating meat or whatever the situation. These these things these are this is nothing. This is just this is no, these are minor points that we're making such a big deal about. Just eat the meat or don't eat the meat. The point is the focus is the person that's giving you the meat <laughs> or not giving you the meat. They're the fo that's the focus. The focus is the person, it's not the, that's it. La foque es, Pablo está diciendo, la foque no es la carne, hermanos. No es la comida, la foque es la persona que está sirviendo la carne. O está diciendo, no come es tu carne. Eso, eso es la foque. It's, it's the person, the, 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 you know, those, those personas. So it's a great point. <laughs> great, great, great point. Just to kind of, just, oh yeah. yeah. I was going to say, just like how Anita used the new cliche saying, uh, we point a finger, but you have to look and see how many are pointing back at you. <laughs> All right, Anita, come on. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's so, so true. So true. Um, just to, the time has gone so quickly, just to jump to, um, I mean, in, in verse 31 through 33, Paul, you know, just talks about, um, you know, just eating and drinking and, and uh, well, let's just read it. It says, verse 31, which is a pretty important point. He says, therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. I mean, that alone will preach, folks. That alone, will be, he says, whatever you do, eat, drink, don't eat, don't drink. It's all for the glory of God. Give no offense either to the Jews or the Greeks or to the church of God, just as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many that they may be saved. Good Lord, that's a powerful statement. He's saying, he says, listen, yeah. He, He's, he's straight up. He's like, yeah, I try to please all people. He, he, wh why? Not seeking his own so that people could be saved, right? To the Greeks, I was a Greek. Where did, he says that in Galatians, right? To, the, to, the, to those that the law follow the law, I, I follow the law. You know, some would say like, no, man, that's not, you're being a hypocrite. No, no, I, I, I appreciate the apostle Paul because Paul, Paul used every aspect of himself. When he needed to be an Italian citizen, he was an Italian citizen. He used his authority as an Italian, as a Roman citizen, right? When he was with the Jew, he, he used his, 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 his upbringing. I'm, I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. Uh, I sat under Galamalia. I, he, when, when he was with the philosophers in Greece, he used to saying, "Hey, the, the altar of the no-name altar is is you know idol is is uh, that's that's what I appreciate, uh, you know, about him being all things to all men or all things to all people. It's it, it's an important point because in in this world now it it's a, it seems like or in the church it seems like a compromise. Yeah, to the old timers, bless the old timers, we need them, right? You're compromising." You're compromising the gospel. You're compromising because you're talking to this person or you're accepting this person. 
Um, and that that's just that's just not that's just not a biblical point. Eso no es la Biblia, hermano, que que está diciendo. Aquí, aquí en esos versículos 31 a, a, a 33, Pablo está diciendo muchas cosas muy buenas. Mira, come que quieres come, comer o no come, porque todo es la gloria de Dios. Todo nosotros, nuestra vida es para dar la gloria a Dios. En él está diciendo eso. No, no se necesita estar como una ofensa a, a las personas. A los griegos estamos como los griegos, a los judíos, a, a los judíos. Ellos en la iglesia como uh, y con, con ellos, que no, no ofendir, no está ofendiendo los, los her, her, hermanos, pero está buscando que, que ayuda los otros, no nosotros, ¿verdad? In, in, in Jesus' name. And in, in just in verse 11, uh, chapter 11 and verse 1, it's, it's all part of the same flow. It's the classic. Paul says, look at If you don't know what this looks like, follow me as I follow as I follow Christ. He said, here, use me as an example. He's not saying, look at me like how perfect I am. He's saying, look at me. Follow me as I follow Christ. You know, it's a powerful, it's a powerful statement. First of all, because he's confident in his serving the Lord. Secondly, he's 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 confident in he's he's doing what God wants him to do. You know? Aquí en, en, en capítulo 11, en versículo 1, él, él, él dice, mira, mira, está atrás de yo, que yo soy atrás de Cristo. ¿Verdad? Yo, mira, mira mi vida como yo está sirviendo a Cristo. Es, es, muy, es, es, es un buen punto, porque él tenía la confianza en su um, relationship, su re la, la, relación. Re relación. Uh, uh, a Cristo, you know, and that's that's what that's what the world that's what the world needs. Yeah, I mean, I preached on Sunday about getting out of our nest, right? Or how and stepping into our gifts, stepping into our talents. How the church needs everyone's example. Well, yeah, the church needs the world needs an example of what of what Christ Christ looks like, you know. Yeah, so if there's any questions or comments, uh, but gentlemen, if you have some commentary, please. We, we've already come to the end and um, just maybe some summaries. I'd appreciate it. Yeah. Amen, Pastor. Um, I, if I may, I'd just like to read a couple of the comments that uh, people have been uh, sharing oh, here. Yeah. Oh, I love uh, that. Yeah, yeah so uh, uh, Brother Daryl Rodriguez says, Amen. We are the light of the world to tell the unsaved about Jesus. And the world is seeking at this time. No room to be offended. Thank you, Brother Daryl Rodriguez. And then uh, oh, last, I also like uh, uh, Brother Ken Basan. He said, we need to cater to a welcoming, evangelistic, spirit-filled, Jesus-only movement without judgment. That's the gospel. Mm. And thank you, Brother well, Ken. Well, well. <laughs> I, I, I really appreciate all the comments, everybody. Uh, and, you know, it, it's very true. It, it, it's very true you know we we call ourselves christians and and you know the light doesn't only shine for us you know the the light needs to shine for everybody else you know and we need to be that light that shines yeah you know, to, to the to the world and um i i just just a real quick example um we see it in front of our church on a daily basis right what do we see we see we see people living in the streets we see people just sleeping on the sidewalk in front of our church who are yeah. we to judge what their situation is, okay. right? And you know that that's not our place. And much in otro lo un un ejemplo muy básico lo lo puedo mirar en frente de nuestra iglesia cada vez que tenemos un culto gente durmiendo en la en la calle gente durmiendo en frente de nuestra iglesia y quién somos nosotros para juzgar, verdad? Debemos de ser como dijeron nuestros hermanos aquí en los comentarios. La luz del mundo, ¿verdad? La luz no solamente brilla para nosotros, sino tiene que brillar para hacia los demás. Uh, también el Espíritu y el amor de Dios alcanza para los, los demás. No solamente es para uno mismo, sino para todos. Es para todos, ¿verdad? Y, y nosotros no somos alguien que puede juzgar la situación de alguien más, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, el, el, uh, el domingo, 
uh, mi esposa y yo uh, fuimos a, a, a nuestro lugar favorito después de la iglesia. Siempre pasamos a, a la mayoría de veces a Super Taquería, ¿verdad? Uh, you know, uh, 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 my wife and I passed by Super Taqueria. It's like our, our go-to spot right after church service, right? You're on our way home. And, you know, I, I could have easily just, just walked in front of this woman um, that was asking for a plate of food. I could have easily just walked right past her with the judge, uh, you know, uh, uh, mind full of judgment and, and just be like, no way, you know, she's, she, you, know, you know, she's in this situation because she wants to be, and, and, you know, you, you pull that Uh, caminado enfrente de esta mujer uh, lleno, lleno de, uh, de, uh, de un montón de pensamientos juzgando a esta mujer diciendo esta mujer que está pidiendo comida ella está en esta situación porque quiere um, e, e, y, y X razón verdad pero el señor tocó mi corazón y, y yo dije dije quieres tienes hambre te invito you know the, the Lord uh, touched my heart and I, and I told this woman you hungry uh, here I'll, I'll, I'll buy you a plate of food This woman was so appreciative, and, and, and it's not to, to, to boast of myself, it's not to pump my chest, no. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just an, an example, of, uh, this is how we serve the, the world. This is how we serve those, those people that need the love of Jesus. Eso es, no es para darme gloria a mí mismo, no, no es nada de eso. Eso es solamente para dar un ejemplo, como la, el mundo necesita esa luz también brillando en su, en su vida. Y quizás ese plato de comida que esa mujer, este... Uh, tuvo en, en, en esa situación, yo no sé cuánto tiempo tenía sin comer, yo no sé si había comido Sam ese día, yo no sé si tuviera comido ayer, pero eso no, eso no me importó a mí, eh, eso, eso no, no tenía importancia, porque eh, eh, esa, esa persona tenía una necesidad en ese momento. Right? You know, it, it didn't matter because you know, the, 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 that woman had, had, had the need, a need in that moment. And, you know, and, and, and God is, that's what, that's what God has called us to be, be servants of, of, of the world, be servants of the, of the people, right? And, and perhaps, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know, that, that perhaps that, that made a difference in that person's life. You know, perhaps, you know, the next time that, you know, this person is able to gather up enough coins or, or, or whatever for, for a meal, maybe she won't think about herself. Maybe she'll think about somebody else that might need a plate of food. You know, quizás, you know, en, en esta mujer, ya cuando junte todo su, lo poco dinero que ella puede conseguir de la gente, quizás ya no va a comprar comida nomás para ella. Quizás va a pensar en alguien más y decir, oh, yo comparto mi comida con esta persona porque ya alguien compartió conmigo lo que, lo que, lo que Dios les ha dado, ¿verdad? And that's, that's the Amen. example that us as, as Christians, we, we're carrying that, that light, you know, and, and we have to keep passing on that, that light, you know, to everybody that, that reaches out. Amen. Dios bendiga. Amen. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Someone else have some closing comments? No? I couldn't find my unmute button. <laughs> I just want to say that uh, the choices we make determine Uh, our maturity. It's not age. Age has nothing to do with maturity. It's our choices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we learn from our mistakes, then we can grow in wisdom. And it's hard enough doing it in our daily life, in just a life without God. And you might think, well, it's even harder doing it, living a godly life. But actually, again, I go back to saying, If we let God lead us, then all things are possible. If we let God lead us, then we can make better choices and we can mature sooner and be able to be that light and that salt of the earth. Uh, la madurez se, 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 se nota por cómo escogemos, cómo hacemos las decisiones y no tiene nada que ver con nuestra edad. Pero si aprendemos de los errores, y si crecemos en sabiduría, entonces vamos a, a madurar. Y es bastante duro en nuestra di, uh, vida diaria. La vida sin Dios es bastante duro así, pero uno puede decir, pues si voy a servir al Señor, es más duro porque tengo que ser santo. Pero si le pedimos al Espíritu Santo que nos guíe, que nos ayude, entonces... Tenemos la libertad en que estamos hablando antes y es posible. Dios les bendiga. God bless you. Amen. Amen. 
Yeah. Great, great subject. It's always, there's always so much more. <laughs> the months pass quickly. Uh, uh, but um, praise God. We get what we, the God wants us to get. Um, and this pretty much brings our um, First Corinthians 10 to a close uh, for now. And then next month we'll, uh, we'll jump into another theme and another portion of scripture that we could uh, really discuss. Um, esto está, estamos terminando um, uh, esto capítulo 10 de Corintios uh, and hay mucho, mucho aquí para comer pero gracias a Dios uh, um, si, si puedo estudiarlo en otro tiempo pero en el mes que estamos entrando tenemos otro tema otro um, uh, capítulo para, para estudiar en el nombre de Jesús so we're, we're really, really grateful uh, brother John Ramundo, it was a pleasure, brother, to to have you uh, with us, and um, it really, really was. We appreciate your presence. Just uh, having you uh, online has brought comfort to me, so thank you, and uh, we look forward to uh, having you again, because I've already extended an invitation to you already before <laughs> we even uh, um, started, so we'd love to have you and to possibly even lead a lesson if, if you can. Praise God. Well, thank you so much for having uh, me. And uh, it was great uh, to be here with you all and really enjoyed feasting on, on some good steak. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, with that, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and, and, and close with a, a word of prayer. Um, we want to, Brother, Brother Daryl um, uh, uh, has lost his mother. We're really, we're really sorry for that, Brother Daryl. Um, yeah, I did. I did notice you missing from the studies the last few weeks, and um, and our hearts go out to you and to your family. We'll we'll pray for the Coda Rodriguez family right now. Um, as you said, your mom is um, you know in the bosom of the Lord now, and though I'm sure you're hurting because um, she's gone, um, at least we seek comfort in knowing that where she is 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 in the hands of the Lord now. So. We're going to go ahead and close with a, a word of prayer. Keep Brother Daryl in, in that. Brother John Ramundo, brother, why don't you just close us out with a, a closing word? And if you could just uh, um, mention uh, Brother Daryl and, and his family. Let's pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we come before you right now. On behalf of Daryl, Lord, we lift him up. We lift up his house at this time, Lord, as you give comfort to him. Yes, there is the loss. There is the separation. Uh, there is the grieving. Lord, you wept because you grieve. But that doesn't mean weakness or loss of faith. That just means that you understand everything that we can go through. And that's why we can go to you as our high priest, Lord, and boldly go before your throne of grace, mercy, and strength, Lord, and be filled, Lord. Hallelujah. Ask you to bless that family richly, Lord. And uh, with Daryl, give him the reassurance, Lord, that he needs right now. And we know that the brethren there at Central are going to lift him up and they're going to encourage him and he's going to know that he's in a family that loves the Lord and loves the brethren. Thanking you, Lord, for this evening study that we were able to partake. We thank you, Lord, for everyone who was able to be present. Thanking you for all the comments of the ministry, Lord. Thank you for pastor's teaching. Uh, thank you, Lord. We can feel the burden, Lord. We can feel the burden of the leadership there in Central and the desire, Lord, to be like you. And Lord, we know that each passing day, as long as we have that desire, we're going to get closer and closer, not only to seeing you, but to being like you and bringing as many along as you will allow. May the spirit of the Holy Ghost move richly, Lord, in every house and in every a person's life that has benefited from this lesson and let it be true that uh, what we heard we can take and we can use to change a world that is so in need of change lord in change uh, to be uh, 
children of God. Uh, we give you all honor, praise, and glory, for thou art worthy in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for that. God bless all of you. Dios bendiga, hermanos. Tienes un buen semana en el nombre de Jesús. And esperamos que puedas mirarlos en, en los tiempos que vienen. God bless all of you. And just have a great rest of the week. And uh, Lord willing, we'll, we'll see you soon. God, God bless you. Amen. Dios bendiga, hermanos. God bless everyone. God bless you.